All right, Capricorn, this is the second part of your video. The camera cut off. But anyway, let's get into it. Let's let's wrap this up. Let's get ready to wrap it up. So, like I said before, um, there's been a lot of thinking in your cards. The majority of cards that I'm looking at for you, Capricorn, are sword cards. You have a lot of sword cards up here. This is a lot of thinking, um, like overthinking to some degree, and maybe even talking about certain things. And so, source is like source is saying, I'm cooking up something for you, and this is some new, you know, some new. Um, What's on here? Pineapple, bananas, uh, uh, yeah. What else? Okay. So Source is saying I'm cooking up something really nice for you. In other words, that's what Source is trying to tell you. So somebody could definitely be traveling, you know, um, but again, nevertheless, you're actually operating in your purpose. So let's see what else we have here. Like I said before, somebody could definitely have a healer, you know, that's uh, helping them to stay forward. Or you could recognize that you need healing through your rest. For somebody who may want love in their lives, there could be a partnership in love and also partnership in business. Let's see what else. Let's see what else we have here in the cards. Mm-hmm. Wow. Six of Swords, the Devil card, Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and also the Eight of Pentacles. All right. So the Devil card, remember the Devil represents fear, doubt, uncertainty, insecurities, instabilities, anything where you feel like there's a temptation, right? There's a temptation for you to vibrate low. Um, if somebody points out your insecurity and you feel like, okay, I got to vibrate on their frequency, to basically let them know that that's an insecurity for me, like in a in a uh, frustrating way, instead of just taking some kind of action. Some things, everything doesn't need a response. So something from your past. See how this person. See how this. <clears throat> excuse me. This person. People. It's actually two. From your past, you see these wolves right here. From your past are basically saying, I know something about you other people don't know. And that'll try to come up. It'll try to rear its ugly head. But remember, when you're operating and you're in a free, in a way that I don't have anything to be embarrassed or ashamed of from my past, that's the frequency I was on at the time. Remember, something is going to, something is going to help you to not let energy see you sweat. Like something being chained to something. So somebody from your your past is trying to bring up some secrets. They know this about you. They know that about you. If you happen to see them or they happen to slip through the cracks, like let's say they, they text you or email you or whatever, you're like, oh, shoot, I forgot to block the number. Or, oh, my goodness, I forgot to block the email address or whatever. For you, it'll just be... Oh, let me go ahead and do it now. There's no reason for me to answer the phone. There's no reason for me to respond. I forgot to, you know, block it. Maybe that was the thing that was, you know, that that's the reason why it kept coming up in my spirit. I forgot to block the number, email address or whatever. So source is saying, get your rest so you can learn how to detach. You can be, identify your demons and also detach when necessary. But I do see you moving on from some things, you know, from your past. Where's the sword energy? I thought I saw six of... Uh, Six of Swords, yeah, more sword energy, and then also we also have the um the Queen of Swords. So it's two energies in particular that Source is saying to you: your third eye is open. You're gonna have two breakthroughs from these energies. Any, I'm telling when I tell you anything could happen, anything could happen. Like the when you stop thinking about it, it's like you've cut the air supply from your demons and, and they can't leave, you know, like starve that energy, that enemy and the enemies will flee. You're not giving any more ener energy to it at all because you don't need those energies from the past. We also have the eight of pentacles and also the nine of pentacles. So source is saying financial independence for you, but also Lots of information coming in about how to grow your money. That's what I was talking about, like as far as your legacy is concerned. And the only person that can save you from all of this is you. 
by stop overthinking stuff from your past. Every time you sit there and you start overthinking and it starts giving you heart palpitations, oh my God, you know, I'm, why, why, do my, why am I having um, dreams or thoughts about energies from my past? So it's just saying you can pull your sword out at any time. You can wake up from the nightmare at any time. Any time. You can clean off those wounds. Like, you know, listening to uh, sacral chakra music or drinking more water, doing your juice fast, like flushing all of that out. Six of hearts, four of hearts, uh, three of wands, ten of spades, the queen of diamonds, and also the eight of hearts. So... This is just you remembering stuff from your past that people talked about you behind your back and that kind of stuff. People that were that you that you looked at as like family or even family members may have talked about you. Here we have the eight, six, and four of hearts. And sources reiterating, move on from certain energies before you get burned. Again, you don't have to wait until you get burned, like burned out, emotionally drained, exhausted. Childlike faith. And also, you don't need to sit around and ruminate over it. Just be in a posture, stay in a posture of gratitude. Also, we have this came out twice. Three of Wands came out twice. Source is saying there's so much on the horizon. I'm telling you, somebody is going to be so happy that they left their past behind emotionally, mentally, spiritually, just left the past behind and moved on. Here we have the Queen of Pentacles, which lets me know that you your reputation is already solid. It's already solid. People... Really, I'm telling you, hold you in somebody in really high regard. The devil is just trying to see if you still have some anxiety about your past and what people know about you and what they can use against you. They can't use anything. They can't use anything against you. Somebody just needs to learn how to address their past. You know, like whatever it is from your past that people think they can use it against. Oh, I know this about you. I know that about you. Okay. You better make sure it's true. You better make sure there is some truth to it. Let's see what else we got here. Let's see what else we have here. So anyway, Source wants you to look to the stars. And then also a new romantic cycle begins. For somebody, like I said, we have the lover's card right here. So even if you don't want to be in a... Um, if you don't want to be in a romantic relationship, it could be a business situation too. So, But a decision has been made for you to leave the past behind and not look back at all. Not look back at all. Let me see. Make sure we got. It. And if you're already with your twin flame, a new romantic cycle could just mean that you all are just in a new cycle of the relationship. Meaning like there's some things from your past that you shed. So now you have more time to focus on each other. And if you don't desire to be in a relationship, you're in a new romantic cycle with yourself. Meaning that I'm going to focus on, you know, I'm going to focus on doing what I need to do for myself so that if I ever decide to kind of start the dating process, I know exactly I'm 100% crystal clear about what I want versus what I don't want. Here we have 14. I am practical. You are open-minded and always up to try something new, yet you're wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. Are meaningful. Affirmation card. And let's close it out. Affirmation card and let's close it out. Again, happy Motivational Monday. Affirmations for growth. I am a work in progress. I release old habits and create new trails. Each day I am getting better. I am in charge of the direction of my life. I am not defined by my past. I grow through my struggles, roadblocks, create opportunities. Yep, that is what I have for you, Capricorns. Thank you so much. I'm going to try to merge these. I'm going to try to um, edit and um, add these two videos. So this is one video. But if it takes too long, sometimes it takes too long. And that's why you see two videos. And I want to make sure yours goes up just like everybody else's goes up. So you don't have to see yours a day or two later. So um, that's what I have for you. Again, happy Motivational Monday. Like I said before, somebody has victoriously left the past behind. God is cooking up something major for you to be booked and busy and not burdened and bitter about anything in the past. And like I said before, the things that used to bother you from your past, who likes you, who doesn't like you, what are people going to say, what are they going to think, what kind of dirt somebody has on you, all of that stuff is a thing of the past. And so Source is saying, stay, keep moving forward and grow your wealth, grow your legacy, 
allow the things that you've been thanking source for like fresh creative ideas to come in to grow your money, grow your circle, grow your community. You know, the impact that you're going to have on the world at large is huge. Your community and the world at large is huge. So those are the things that I see somebody focusing on using their brain power for more so than allowing your past to pull you backwards and distract you. That's what I have for you. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.